Hello, this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University, and today I'd like to show you how to grow pagonias in pots. Now, there's a few things that you're going to need for this project before you begin. You're going to need pagonias, you're going to need soil, you're going to need a container, and you're going to need some type of drainage material. Now you need to prep your container before you plant in it and the prepping consists of simply sterilizing and cleaning the container itself. Now this can be done with either plastic or terracotta. You will need to fill a basin with warm water and a squirt of dish soap. Put your container in there, scrub it, rinse it, and then put it out in the sun. The sun will sterilize it and kill any remaining germs that might be on the container. Once that is done, the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put drainage material inside the pot. Even though you may have a drainage hole, you need to put something down that will prevent the soil from running through. If you don't have a container with the drainage hole, you need to create drainage. And that can be done with broken pot shards, stones, or my favorite, coffee filters. And you simply put the coffee filter, making sure that you have covered the drainage hole. The next step of the process is you're going to put some soil inside your container. And you want to fill it about halfway up and depending on the root ball mass of your plant. Now there's a golden rule when it comes to planting any type of plant. You don't want to plant it any deeper than what it was originally in, the, in its first container. And you want to make sure that the hoe is about two to two and a half times the width of the root mass and that will allow the roots to grow outward. So I'm just going to fill this up halfway the next part of the process is I'm going to put my pagonia in my container and I'm going to begin to fill in now don't worry if you're planting it in a hanging basket about the hanger itself. You can adjust that after you get the plant material in the container. Now you're going to continue with this process until you reach about a half an inch from the very top. Again, making sure that you're not burying the root mass any deeper than what it was in the container. Once you have done that, you will need to add a slow release fertilizer you need a 10, 30, 20 for proper bloom production. And the more blooms you have, the more flowers you're going to have. Now, also make sure that you water your plant thoroughly and make sure that if you have a container that has a drainage hole, that you water it until water comes out the bottom of that drainage hole. If you have a container that doesn't have a drainage hole, always make sure to check to make sure that the plant needs to be watered. To check, you simply stick your finger in the soil Pull it straight up and look at your finger. If your finger is covered in soil, the soil's wet. If your finger comes out and there's no soil on it, the soil's dry and you will need to water your pagonia. So that's all there is to it as far as growing a pagonia in a pot. So until we meet in the garden again, this is Mindy McIntosh Shetter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Nine University.